Okay, so I've been doing this makeup look for almost a year now and it has evolved and changed a lot, but I'm gonna show you the most current way that I do it. This is the paint I use, it's called Maron Paradise Paint and I mix the colors purple and white in a like small container. It just creates a nice lavender color. I use some water on a brush and a spray bottle to wet the paint and I mix it around until it is liquidy enough to pour into the container. Oh wait, also, my name is Zoe. If you don't know me, then nice to meet you. What's up? When applying it to my face, I'll use this angled round brush and in small dabbing motions, I'll apply it pretty quickly around my whole face to get an even first layer. If you have contacts, then put them in before you start the makeup or if you have mesh contacts, then put one of them in so you can still see well out of one eye. It kinda sucks, but I don't have mine right now. To go around my piercing, I use a small flat brush and just work my way in without, you know, getting it into your piercing. If you have one, just be careful of that. I also use it around my eyes to get a little bit closer. I'll cover my lips too as a first coat and we're gonna deal with those more later. Then I will go over with a second coat using soft dabbing motions again, trying not to smear the paint underneath. It's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes when it doesn't work out, but with some practice I've been able to get good results by doing two coats, so just practice at it. A trick I use to cover the sheer parts of the paint is by wiping off the brush so it's almost dry and then very lightly dabbing over the areas that need more paint. And while the face paint dries, I'll do my neck using the same methods that I used on my face. I do this now because when the neck is done, then I can go right in to my face paint and start doing the contour. and 10 points to your Hogwarts house if you can do the back of your neck by yourself. If you're gonna be wearing this look for a while, then use some powder to make sure that paint does not move. For a lot of my cosplay makeup, I use this palette that I found on Amazon. It's ridiculously cheap eyeshadow, but it has a f ton of colors. Now you can do whatever the hell you want for the contour, but if you want to have those like masculine features, then I found this reference on the Cosplay Amino app, and I'll put the username of the person who posted it on the screen. Just to give the skin tone a little bit of variation, I'll go in with a couple different shades of purple. Some are more blue, some are more pink. On top of the contour, I add some blush. This also just helps add more realistic tones to the skin instead of it just being like a flat purple color. I tend to center this around the center of my face and my cheeks. And I also add contour and blush to my neck 
kind of going down the sides of my neck and under the collar bones and I just keep adding until it matches the tones of the face. Now my friend who cosplays Jester showed me this trick. She's amazing. I'll put her Instagram on the screen. She uses a toothbrush and some water and mixes it with a darker version of face paint or you can also use a dark eyeshadow for this as well. And then you can flick that onto your face creating really cool, like realistic looking freckles that I'm now obsessed with. I start the eyeshadow by using a red color and packing it in on the outside of my eye, blending it down underneath and a little bit on top. To be honest, I do the eyeshadow different every time, this just happens to be how I did it in the moment. So just do whatever you're feeling and experiment. And I just feel like gold is essential in a Molly Mock Tea Leaf makeup look, so I'm adding it closer to the center and inner corner of my eye. Also, don't forget to blend. Next I add eyeliner and I like to use liquid eyeliner. This is by NYX, I got it at the drugstore. The way I do eyeliner is specific for hooded eyes because that's what works for me. I can leave a tutorial linked in the description if you wanna know how to do that. I also go in the inner corner and create a point to mimic Molly Mock's eye shape. Then the last step for the eyes is mascara. I use this uh, Lash Paradise, I think it was called. Now this is the part of the video where we're gonna tackle the tattoo. I use this face paint. I got it from Michaels, I believe it's Snazaroo. And uh, I think I'm looking for my brush here. Oh, there we go. So I use a small brush and some water and dip it into the blue first and that's what I'm going to use to create the base of the feathers. Then yeah, just make sure you mentally prepare yourself. I start with the feather on the cheek and create an oval teardrop kind of shape and drag it back to just above my ear and then I'll map out where the rest of the feathers are going to go starting from like the base of my neck. And I'll go keep bringing it up, adding more feathers until I reach just above my jawline. Then using the same blue paint, I will go off of each oval and create these wispy, feathery strokes. This also doesn't require much accuracy or precision. Just place them wherever you think they look good and wherever they would fit into your design. And if you're having trouble trying to figure out where these should go, then you can always take a look at the reference picture.
colors are mapped out, I like to go in with a blue eyeshadow and just pack that in. And now I'm just bringing up the reference picture because I forgot what the tattoo looked like. Um, so now I'm gonna go and do the green highlight bits. I mix white and green together to get this light green color and do little horseshoe type shapes on each of the ovals. And then I also go in and create little highlights on some of the little stems and other areas that I think could use the detail. Again, you can use the reference picture to figure out where these go. The last step for the tattoo is adding purple into the center of each feather. And this just came right out of the Snazaroo face paint kit too. You'll probably be glad to hear that the scars are a lot more simple than the tattoo. I just use the white Maron Paradise paint and create strokes of varying thicknesses and lengths to make interesting looking scars along my neck and chest. Sometimes I'll add dark purple on the top and bottom to create a little bit more depth and realism, but this time I didn't and I still like how it looks. Also, not sure where the footage ended up for this, but I also paint my top lip with the dark purple face paint and pack it in with a little bit of eyeshadow to set it. Here I'm just securing my wig with a little bit of bobby pins and this hairspray. This wig is from the Five Wits wigs. I can link it down below. Oh, and I made these dope new horns in February. Uh, hope you like them. If you want to know more about those, let me know. And would you look at that? Two hours later, we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, so I'm really glad it's out. And if you use it and it helps, then please tag me in your looks. I'd love to see them. All my social media is in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'd love to try that out. So let me know what you want to see. Thank you again for watching. Later.